Okay, what is up YouTube? We got ourselves a unveiling here. The little dungeon master is helping. She wanted to help do an unveiling. Um, she helped me out a lot today. We went to a hobby shop that I hadn't been to for a very long time. Uh, so... I went, I went to cheer. Yeah, you went to cheer. They had their their football team made it all the way to the finals, didn't they? So I got stopped in at a hobby shop I used to frequent a lot back in earlier days when I first was into crawling. Uh, they had some comp stuff there and everything, and I'm talking early days, like very first Trail Finder two, SCX ten, the Dingo short wheelbase, like old school stuff. So that's when I was into this stuff. So I got kind of lucky. She went in with me. I went in. I, I, I kind of been watching videos of these trucks and they're real affordable. And I got this because I was looking at getting something that was on the uh, not as far as on the lines of like a super scale truck, but it was still a crawler. And this company came out with these that fit that bill perfectly, and they were pretty affordable. I had a little extra, a little extra dough to spend. And then I got lucky, somebody mentioned to the hobby shop that I had an RC YouTube channel. <laughs> so, when I when she did that, they kind of gave me a little bit of a discount on buying this, uh, on buying this, this RC. Or I probably actually, it was still, I was still probably going to get it. Uh, but they had it in stock. Uh... They sold both of them when I was there. I bought this one, and then the other one they sold as well. They both sold. They said they'd only been on the shelf for about 15 minutes there all together. Uh, when I had walked in, they were stocking. So, Because they're a hobby shop that opens late, but they're open late. So it is uh, SRC in Parkersburg, West Virginia for anybody. You can look him up online. Uh, he does online $75 or more on your order online, and he will give you free shipping. So I just wanted to put that out there. Yeah, yeah, yep. Pause for a minute. I want my camera. Okay, well, little Dungeon Master had to run upstairs and get her camera. So I'm just going to talk about this for just a short period, just a little bit longer. Uh, I mainly bought this. I'm not really into the Lex and stuff uh, that much. This is a Lex and body crawler. Uh, it's a company that I've personally never had major problems with. That's been real a real good company to me. Uh, I mean, dependability-wise, I know some people complain about them. Uh, you know, everybody complains about everything. That's just how the world is. But uh, anyhow, I just want to talk about this. Uh, that's the reason why I got this, guys. Uh, she's coming back, so I'm going to go ahead and stop the video, and we're going to restart it. So she's back. All right, so I'm going to get the little dungeon master here. She's going to do an unveiling uh, for this... Uh, for this RC. I'm not going to really necessarily do. It's not really going to be a major unboxing. We're just going to run over. Uh, you know. Briefly of some things with it. There's been. I mainly got. the. I watched the review last night on. Uh, I think it's called RC Reviews. Uh, on YouTube. Uh, and just watching that. And I was like. Man. Affordability. And for what this truck is. That's the reason why I bought it. Uh, and it was something different. Just uh, taking a break from the scale stuff. Uh, that I always have on the channel. So, okay, little dungeon master, we're gonna get set up here and do a do a little unveiling. Okay, guys. So, as you can see clearly, the Everest Ascent, one tenth scale, brushed electric four wheel drive rock crawler. This is like uh, Red Cats. Uh, you know, they call it a comp crawler. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I did take it. They, they had this one out of the box there on display, and I looked at it real close. And right off the bat, there was some things that I did notice that needed, uh, you know, addressed before even running it. So we're going to go ahead and get this thing unboxed here real quick. And then we're going to go over... There are some upgrades here that's pretty nice that looks pretty good that Red Cat has addressed with these. Um, so we're going to get into that next. So we're going get to get it unboxed here for you. So let's see if little Dungeon Master can pull the top off the box here on camera. Think you can get that off? It's actually a pretty heavy truck, guys, uh, for what it is, for being Lexan and... <laughs> can you get it? You almost got it. You're almost there. That table's pretty tall for you. Let me cut. There you go. Good job. 
Now we'll just, what we do with these, we just toss, oh yeah, I'll need to read some stuff off that in a second, so. I'm going to stop this, and we're going to, I'm going to help her get the truck out, but this is going to be our little simple unboxing. All right, so, da -da -da -da, go after it, little dungeon master. Woo! Look at that beautiful blue red cat ascent crawler. I always keep the boxes. Okay, guys, so get down there, Dungeon Master, and display it for for everyone. <laughs> Be Vanna White. You got it. There you go. Uh, we got a... Well, I got the blue one, guys, and it's kind of modeled. I really like this. Uh, it's modeled after the... Like a Ford truck body, like the OBS, the old body style Fords. It's, it is pinched, dovetailed, whatever, you know, how I make and, jokes about. And our cat's here. Yeah, and Crawler Kitty's here. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, we'll get. I'm gonna get a closer look at it. But this is the unveiling for, for the new for the new RC for the channel. Uh, like I said, it was something different. Uh, it's, I used to be into the comp stuff way back into the day. Uh, I'm sure this is probably already an RTR. Is probably worlds above better than what I'm used to running from back then. Uh, you know, yeah, the tires aren't. Yeah, go and squeeze that again. Worst thing I did notice. We'll just go and roll into this with that. Uh, the tire foams do seem a little soft to me, uh, so side hilling is probably going to be a problem with the stock tires. I mean, I could be wrong, because I haven't even ran it yet, but they seem, yeah, those are really soft. So they're going to, especially once you run it a little bit, so, <laughs> crawler cat. So they're not beadlock wheels, they're just glue-on plastic wheels. They are 1.9s. Uh, the tires feel okay. Um, they say they're a 4.7 tire. They seem a lot bigger than a 4.7 tire to me. Um, I have some nice set of BF Goodrich, uh, pro lines here that I'm gonna, that I'm gonna swap over to, uh, probably on this, uh, with a set of weighted white spokes. Yeah, he's gonna knock the camera over. So, anyhow, I'm gonna shut this off and we'll get a closer look. At the inside of this, and I'll go a little bit deeper. Some things that I ran to, ran into just looking at it in the hobby shop. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 